What's going on everyone? My name is Kodamor and welcome back to Web Development episode 14. In this episode, we are going to learn about classes in CSS. Because as we learned in the last video, we could use IDs to change the styles of elements on our web page. However, IDs have to be unique. Only one element on the web page can have an ID. For instance, this second div can't have the same ID as div number one. It has to have a different ID. But let's say that these two divs right here, div one and div two, want to have the same style. I could just copy this code and change the ID to div number two, but if we had 10 elements, that would be pointless and that would be just ridiculous to do. And that is where classes come in. Now we can keep the IDs on these divs if we want, or we could just assign the divs a class by doing class equals and specifying a class name. I'm gonna specify this class to be hello. Now the funny thing about classes is that they don't have to be unique, meaning this div down here can have the same class name as the first div above it. So we can set both of the classes to hello. They don't need to be unique. Now, how do we set up classes inside of our style tag up here in our website? Once again, it's just like we did the IDs with a hashtag followed by the ID name, except for a class, it's going to be a period followed by the class name, hello, in our case. And that is how you set up classes in CSS. So now everything that has a class attribute of hello will have these styles applied to it. So if we look at our website, this is how it was before. Now if we reload it, as you can see, both of the divs have the same styling, even though we only have one style inside of our CSS style tag. And we can, of course, have IDs mixed along them as well. So down here, maybe I can have a paragraph tag, and I'll just write something in the paragraph tag that says hello. And the paragraph tag can, of course, still use an ID. I'll, I'll name this ID by. And of course, up here, we can specify the ID by a hashtag, followed by the name by. And we can specify something like background color, maybe purple, like that. And it'll still work as we expect. The IDs still work. Everything still works on our web page, but classes make everything easier when multiple elements need to have the same style attributes. That was a fairly short tutorial, so let's just go ahead and learn about a few more CSS tags, or CSS styles rather. I'll delete all this font stuff here inside of my hello class. And we are going to learn about text Decoration, text-decoration. Now this can be many things. It can be things like underline, like so, we can do underline, and it can also be many other things. So if we run this here, everything with the class hello is now underlined, but there's also a few really cool things we can do. We can do something called an overline, like so, and that's going to do pretty much the opposite of underline. It'll put a line above all the text, and we can even do something called line through. And this one's really cool because you can show kind of mistakes on your web page, I guess, if you wanted to, and that puts a line through all of the text. But let's say that we wanted both an underline and a line through our text. How would we do that? Well, we just separate the things by spaces. So we can do underline, space, line through, and that'll set the text decoration to both be underlined and have a line through our text, as you can see there. So that's how you perform multiple values in CSS as well. And the final thing we're gonna learn in this tutorial is going to be the text-transform method. This is really, really cool. We can do things like capitalize. And if we do capitalize, it's basically going to take every letter in our sentence and capitalize, or every word rather, and capitalize the first letter. That's really cool. We can even do something like uppercase, or you could even do lowercase, of course. Whoops, let's spell that correctly, of course uppercase, and that'll change all the text to uppercase. We can do the same thing with lowercase. So that makes our websites look really cool in case you want everything on your website to be in capital letters for some reason. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.